What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to City Life. It is the morning of day three. I've got a couple of skill points to spend this morning, so I'm going to go into Strength Level 3 and Intellect Level 3. Okay, I started putting bars around this center structure here in the middle of the lobby because this is going to be the main portion of our base. Not the only portion, but the main portion. I mean, the support columns on this thing all have 10,000 hit points. It doesn't get any better than that, so why wouldn't we make that the main part of our base? I gotta start knocking these stairs out this morning. If we can at least get the first row done today, that would be great. I don't expect to get all of these stairs knocked out by... The Day 5 Horde, that's no big deal. The Day 5 Horde is not going to be hard to take care of. We can always put bars up at these stairs to prevent the zombies from going up here. Or we can throw, like, uh, not a permanent staircase, but some kind of staircase leading up to that. Uh, we got a zombie. Back here. Yep. Big boy at the window. Get out of here, big boy. This ain't a fucking Wendy's. Um, but yeah, we can throw like a makeshift staircase leading up to that center portion and then have like frames that we can pull up so we can give the zombies a way to get up to me, you know, so if they start beating at the bars by the staircase, we can just put some frames down at the staircase we built and that'll make them come back towards us. There, I have ideas. We'll be all right. But eventually I do want to get this entire concrete staircase knocked out. So we got to start working at this this morning. All right, let me eat the last couple of pieces of boiled meat that I have, and then we are heading upstairs this morning. I've got another land claim block that I crafted, and we're going to put that thing down on the third floor. We're also going to clear out the third floor and loot it. And by putting a land claim block up there, that will increase the space of which zombies cannot respawn, because the land claim block has a bounding box, right? And it stretches above the land claim block as well as below it. So by putting the land claim block on the ground floor, we're missing out on some of that bounding box. So if we can get one down, uh, okay, we're cut off right here. So let's do um, die company first. Any zombies in here? I'm sure there are. Here we go. Um, so by putting the land claim block up here on the third floor, the bounding box will stretch down to the lobby and it will also stretch up to maybe, I don't know, the sixth floor. And by doing that, we will, like I said, increase the space of which zombies cannot respawn. Let me grab these chairs. We do need some wood. We're basically running out of it. Might as well grab these chairs and scrap them, but we'll also chop some trees down a little bit later. Stone and cloth. All right, let me uh, scrap these chairs, and I don't need this broken glass. We'll put it in there. Broken glass, you can smelt that down in the forge for glass, and then you can use that to craft glass jars. I've honestly never done that before. I, I Maybe once or twice in my entire time playing this game, so I don't really mess around with that. You can find plenty of glass jars on your own. Uh, you could also use broken glass to craft scope mods, but... To be honest, I don't really use scope mods either. I prefer either the iron sights or a red dot. All right, grab this plant. We'll scrap that for the clay soil. Waking zombies up. Just trying to take my time this morning. He's stuck there at the windows. Let's take care of this guy. Oh, shit. Fuck. What the hell? I thought those windows were framed out. I didn't think he can get through the frame without breaking it. Fucking slick 44 over here. Always finds a way. Come on, dude. Why you gotta fuck my morning up? Let's repair our club. Scrap these two things. And keep it moving here. We still have our laceration from the last episode. If we can find a sewing kit, we can clear that up. Otherwise, we just gotta wait for it to heal. Boom! Taking your legs out. 
How's that feel, Mo? Oh, you want that again? Bam! Yeah, try standing up again, bitch. Well, our morning is definitely going better than Mo's. Oh, got a dead end right here. Let me search this trash and get out of here because I don't know where these zombies are at. Oh, get out of the way, Skinny Pete, you little fuck, trying to trap me in there. Is that it? Seems like it. Got quiet. Got another little kitchen area right here. Pipe and lead. Coal, I'm good. If we need coal, we can always go mine it. Oh, got a little pantry right here. Actually, can you find coal in the desert? I don't know if I've ever seen a coal ore in the desert. That might be a problem. Maybe we will have to take that coal. Some more food, and we are pretty full right now, so I'll just take both of those things. Hey, a little variety of items. This vending machine doesn't work. I would take it apart if we had a wrench, but we don't have one yet. Oh, wait, that's glass right there. Let's see if we can break this glass without waking the zombie up. Nope. Oh, he's feral. Let's hit him with this. Down he goes. Nice. And a loot bag. I know I said I was going to leave this shotgun behind, but it's not bad if you use it as like a softener, you know? Hit the zombie with it and then switch weapons real quick. There you go. Some 7.62. Nice. Because I do have the machine gun as well. Got a little balcony area right here. Let's grab this yucca, because why not? Enjoy the view for a moment. Dude, we should totally build a bridge from here to the Higashi Pharmaceutical Building. That'd be cool. Or from the roof. Oh, we should totally do some crazy shit like that. All right, let's get back to it. We got storage put down by the elevator shaft. We're no longer encumbered. Any zombies in here? No? That's surprising. Paper. Lead and cloth, and I guess we're going out the window. Hey, nice view of the church. We're gonna raid that place eventually. This is where it starts to get a little dangerous. I don't think this will give out on us. I hope not. Eh, doesn't look like it. Whoa, shit. Almost fell right there. Forgot to jump. Ooh, decent amount of shotgun shells. I don't think that would kill us, that fall. Might break a leg, though. Come on. Get in there. Okay. Businessman sleeping on the conference table. Let's wake him up. Ooh, waking others up. Hey, he's dead. Get out of here. Uh, how many are we looking at? Quite a few, huh? Out the window. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> There's a good strategy. Come on. Boom. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, they call me the leg beater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that guy just fell right on his face. Come on, you just want to follow me over here? No? Pussies. All right, here's the strategy. Ready? Jump! Blast! Jump! <laughs> hey, what, what are you doing? Think you're going to break through that bulletproof glass? I don't think so. Fuck you, Kenny. Where are you guys going? The fun's just getting started. Oh. Let's get back over here. It's quite a lot of them. Come on, lady. You can make this jump. I believe in you. Where are you going? Jump. Blast. Jump. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's why I don't recommend my strategies to anyone. Are they going to follow me down here? Or do we have to run all the way back up? Are they coming down? Oh, thick is. We call him Trip 44. 
get in here, pop that up. Oh, he made it through. Bug off, bitch. Here they come. They're all falling down now. Oh, damn it, thick. Attacking my ankles. Get up off your hands and knees. No, oh, he crawled his way through. Skinny Pete, where'd you come from? Shit, they finally broke in over here. Oh, back up, lady. Uh, let's craft a frame and fill this in. I don't have any cobblestone on me now, but we'll upgrade it again to cobblestone later. Just so it's something. Like I said, once we have a uh, better base or more defenses built inside the lobby, then as they bust through the walls, it won't be that big of a deal, but at the same time, we want to continuously repair those holes to maintain structural stability, because I have heard that the tower can be taken down much easier than in the past, if enough damage is done to the walls of the lobby. So, obviously, the tower falling would make for a badass video, but would also kind of screw up the whole series, <laughs> you know, I, I want to maintain our home here. I already searched that trash. All right, now, this is where we left off in this conference room. I think we're clear in here. Seems that way. Let's grab all these chairs. We can scrap them for the leather. I know you can take them apart if you have a wrench and you get mechanical parts that way too, but it's just quicker and easier to scrap them for the leather. I think we'll try and put that land claim block in this bathroom right here. That seems like a good spot to drop it down. Uh, I'll take the clay soil. I'm good on that goldenrod seed. Oh, I'd like to take this thing apart to see what you get if we had a wrench, but again, we don't. <laughs> it's something we need to find or craft as soon as possible. I think if we put a point into minor 69er, we'll be able to craft a wrench, so we might have to do that. Bathroom looks clear. Oh, shit. Looks like that's the way up to the fourth floor, which we are not doing today. I just wanted to get this third floor cleared out. Let's put the land claim block right here. Bam. Okay, that automatically deactivates the one we have down in the lobby, so I'll just, I'll remove that later. And once it's deactivated, one hit destroys the block. All right, let's see. What else do we have left? Up here on the third floor, is that it? It might be. We've got another bathroom here. Let's check this out. Paper. Murky water. All right, that door's the conference room. That door's locked. A little wood here. Let's pop this door open, though. I don't want any locked doors in my tower. There we go. Let's replace it, though, with a door, because I do like doors. <laughs> you know, they're, they're good to hide behind. But I want to be able to open and close them when I want to. All right. So, third floor is clear and looted. Let's uh, head out into the city now. Maybe in the next episode, we'll clear the fourth floor. Let's get some wood before we head out. We got a couple of trees out front here we'll chop down. Uh, I've got glass jars on me. I want to pick up some more murky water. And I also want to head back to that POI. We got the shit kicked out of us yesterday. We never got to the main loot. I have no idea where the main loot is. I'm assuming it's up where we kind of ended, at the the third floor where the um, where the uh, escalators are. So uh, we're going back for more. We got to finish that POI off, man. All the all the work and damage we took there. 
to not get the main loot, that's like a, a slap in the face, literally and figuratively. So let's head back there and do that, and then we'll get some water, and then we'll just see what time it is at that point. Hey, a book. Another book. I wonder if there's going to be a book in here. There is. How crazy. Look, I know I said that was a bug in the last episode, and a lot of people were saying that it's not a bug, it was intended, but it's definitely not right. Uh, oh shit, what is going on here? I thought the water was down here. This is like a whole subway system, holy shit. Well, I definitely want to check this out, but not right now. That might have to be a tomorrow thing. Uh, anyway, so the books in the mailbox and the news boxes might not be a bug, but it's definitely overtuned. They need to balance that shit. You shouldn't be finding one in every single mailbox and every single news box. That's a little crazy, don't you think? No, nah, that's not loaded. One round in there? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's why they call me Glock. My guns aren't loaded nine. I spotted a wolf over here. Yeah, let's just get inside. Um, I think we go through here. Yep, escalators. Okay. Let's take these up to the third floor, and that should be where we left off. We already did Luigi's. That's where we were fighting zombies last time. We got to go up here. I don't think we searched anything up here yet. Nope. Nice. Oh, we were up here, but we didn't search anything. So we got the Savage Country. We should have a Shotgun Messiah up here. We got zombies still. Oh, hey, nice. Thank you for that. Baked potato recipe, some food, some 762, and steroids, which we'll save for later. Might have to use that if we get too encumbered. Cowboy boots, I'll scrap them for the leather. Some shirts we don't need. Oh, I can't scrap anything just yet. Shoes. Zombies in the shotgun messiah. Yep. Just one. Come on, buddy. Dead. You grab the rest of. A clothes in here. Ooh, some shades. We can sell those if we ever find a trader. Bunch more clothes to scrap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of clothes to scrap here. Whole bunch of cloth. There we go. Okay, let's move on to the Shotgun Messiah now. Murky water. And not much to search in here. There we go. Chain mod. We can wrap that around our club. Maybe it'll actually do some damage now. That's locked. I have no idea where this fucking main loot could be. I really don't. I guess we gotta go up there. Right? Up the elevator shaft. That's the only thing that makes sense. Even though there is a flashlight in the elevator pointing out, which is kind of strange. But that's the way I'm going to go, because I don't see any other way to go. Now, it should be clear up here. Killed these zombies yesterday. I mean, not totally clear, but at least this room should be. Huh. Oh. I have no idea where to go. There's a ladder going down, a ladder going up. There's a plank to another rooftop. I have no fucking idea. Oh, boy. We'll find it. We will find it. I mean, it's got to be somewhere. Can't do much with this giant generator. Here's a switch. What did that do? Open this door? I don't know. <laughs> Some armor parts. Oh, it might have opened that door right there. 
Some water, we'll drink that now. That's just that room again. Hey, dynamite schematic. That could be fun. Ooh, a whole bunch of uh, first aid and a couple of recogs. That's nice. I'm going to use a bandage now since we just found some more. Um, what do we got over here? Oh, this is the rooftop with the plank. Okay, so we know this isn't the way to go. Maybe we go, uh, well, let's go up first before we go down. Birds! Fuck out of here. Oh, nice. That's that chain mod, baby. Actually, I think the chain mod just, uh, gives you an increased chance of knocking zombies down. It does add a little bit of damage to the club as well, which is nice. Um, now that we put a point into strength this morning, though, I'd like to get another one into Pummel Pete so we can make, uh, a level 3 club. It'd be nice if we can find, you know, a baseball bat. Um, we should be able to craft a baseball bat. I keep thinking that you need to find the baseball bat schematic. That's not the case. I think you could just craft one. So once I get another point into Pumble Pete, we'll craft the baseball bat and that'll be uh, much better. Send help. I can use a lot more than that. Okay. Uh, got a plug up here. Let's pop this open. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a zombie. Dead. Got a bird nest, some cobblestone. Sweep the leg. Oh, that's the move of the episode right there. Taking their legs out. It's quite fun also. Dead. Sports bag. Hey, vitamin. Level four padded gloves. I don't think we have any gloves, so we can throw those on. It's better than nothing. Oh, here we go. Balance beam over to this roof. Got a ladder going down. That looks promising. Shit. Come on. Oh, got him. Oh, Kenny. Got him. Blue. I can't believe we haven't found the fucking sewing kit yet to clear up this laceration. Looks like it's gonna have to just heal on its own. Some more feathers. Let's break this apart to get even some more. We got another ladder going up. Is this the part of the roof we were at earlier? Let me see. Oh, yeah, this, uh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to be up here. I'm pretty sure that ladder going down right here is the way to go. Let's check it out. Come on, get down there. A little kitchen area. Haven't searched this place yet. That's good. It's a good sign. Uh-oh. Oh, here we are. The main loot, finally. Wake up. Oh. Couldn't do it without waking up other zombies. Oh, back up the ladder. I have no idea how many are down there. Let's close that. Oh, it's locked open. Great. Oh, well. At least we have a machine gun. Just shoot them as they come up the ladder. Well, that's a fun game. Oh. Couple of soldier zombies. Get back down there, god damn it. Oh boy. Come on, you fuckers die. That one's dead. Oh sweet. Is that it? I mean I hear more. But I don't know if they're down here in this room. Let's make a hatch and put it at that doorway. You know, I saw down in the comments, some people were saying, why don't you just make a bunch of hatches before you go in a POI? Well, that kind of takes away some of the fun of scrambling to make one when you need it. You know, because putting a hatch in a doorway, some might say is, oh, here are the zombies. And we can just shoot them right through these bars. Beautiful. 
Uh, some might say putting a hatch in a doorway is kind of cheap or cheesy. Uh, we can't close that door. I don't think they can go around anyway. If they could, they probably would. So anyway, to, to counteract the idea of a hatch in a doorway being cheap, I do it on the fly. And sometimes it doesn't work out. We gotta run. And that's, to me, like I said, part of the fun. I mean, there are a lot of things I could be doing to make this game easier on me, but I don't necessarily want it to be easier. I mean, I, you gotta keep it entertaining, you know? And for me, I find that keeping things highly dangerous and also managing to stay alive is where I, I find it to be the most entertaining for me and for you guys. Nice. Can we go around this way? Ooh, hello, you little furry fuck. The same room I killed the chicken in. What are the odds? All right, let's just grab this main stash. Then we'll go around, grab that loot bag, and get the hell out of here. Ooh, batter up, book. Uh, metal chain mod. Well, we just found the metal chain mod. I'll read it, but no need to craft... Uh, another one. Level 5, primitive bow. Let's bring that thing down. First shot. Man, Lady Luck is on our side today. Treasure map, nine time charges. That's sick. All right, let's read that map and see uh, if this treasure is, is within city limits. Uh, doesn't look like it. That's definitely outside city limits, so um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to cancel that. We can't leave the city. All right, let's make our way around to that loot bag and uh, probably just head home at that point. We could do a little bit of more work to uh, knocking out those concrete steps before it rolls over tonight. Ooh, level six iron pickaxe. We're going to put that thing to work right now. Let's get home. Well, oh, we're waking up zombies, and I don't feel like dealing with them right now. I just want to get this water, and we can get the hell out of here. Oh, there's some shit going on down here, and I'd love to check it out, just not right now. Oh, yeah, zombies are breaking out of that door over there. Did we search this? No. More murky water. Okay, we're out of here. We'll check this area out tomorrow along with the subway, under the underground subway, which is right here. I want to check that out. I'll save that for tomorrow, though. I want to get home and, like I said, do a little bit more work on those concrete steps before it uh, rolls over to night. Because I try to make as little noise as I can during the night, at least until we can get this base set up. All right, it's about to be night, so I'm going to give it a rest for now. If it remains quiet like this through the night, then I'll do a little bit more work. I want to get some uh, food cooking, though. Where's our meat? Did I put it in the other storage container? Yeah, I got to get all this shit sorted and organized. All right. Let's get some meat cooking. As much as we can, six pieces, that's good. And let's get some water cooking also. We've got plenty. Let's just do ten for now, though. All right. Sweet. Well, I'm going to get our loot organized tonight. And then, like I said, if it remains quiet like this, then I'll do a little bit of more work to the stairs. I want to get the bars finished around this main structure here in the middle. And then uh, we'll pick things up on the morning of day four. 
Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more city life and more one-shot kill, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.